And we are back, Pokemon Fire Red, Hardcore Nuzlocke, the run continues here. And this is just gonna be redemption for Hypno, uh, my Leaf Green run that we started this whole channel with. Um, Hypno got hit with the Toxic and ended up almost sweeping the entire team, but then dying to the Toxic Poison. So we've come prepared with the Berry. Um, and we have learned so much since then. His moveset or her moveset is just switched up a little bit. Um, and I think it's going to be really fun. So let's dive right in and see what Agatha is working with. Let's do it. All right. So Hypno is one of the better uh, psychic types in this game. Again, if you have access to the Alakazam uh, by trading, then Alakazam just beats everyone. But um, yeah, Hypno is very easy to get. Drowsy is all over the place, especially right there at Vermilion City. So, all right, let's dive right into it. Let's go ahead and lock down the Gengar with a Thunder Wave. Let's channel our psychic energy and bring down the thunder here. And it does connect, that is absolutely massive. Okay, so now we are faster. And um, so I don't think psychic is gonna one-shot it. And I don't want um, Agatha to use the full restore. So I'm actually gonna pivot to a shadow ball and hope that that keeps the Gengar out of range. Okay, that might be too much, but Toxic misses and that's fantastic. And we, oh my God, the double team. Oh, and the Confuser, this is, this is a slugfest already. That double team was super clutched by the Gengar, but we are out of full restore range. So if we can just connect we will be looking really good. Can you break out of confusion? No, we cannot. Okay, that is not great. Shadow Punch comes down. Oh man, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Okay. Plan B here. So I think that the Gengar is gonna use Shadow Punch again. So I'm gonna switch to Dodrio here, and it uh, we might get a free swap. And we get a free swap, really good stuff there. Try attack does not affect, but Drill Peck does. Bring it home there, Dodrio. Okay. Wow, that Gengar really messed up our Hypno. And if that Shadow Punch crit, we would have died. If the Shadow Punch connected and then we hurt ourselves in confusion, potentially we could have died. So just playing it smarter there. Just playing it safe. And now that Dodrio is out here, let's have some fun with it. And Golbat's probably going to use Confuse Ray. Well, let's see what Tri Attack can do first. And beautiful. Air Cutter comes down, okay? No crits. All right, we're looking good. Dodrio getting some Elite Four screen time. Very exciting stuff here. Beautiful. So much damage. So fast. Really good. All right, Arbok comes down. Great uh, switch there by Agatha. Cuts the damage. Um, but again, since we're here, let's keep going. Um, it was probably gonna have to be a two shot anyway. So as long as we get her into the orange. Ooh, couldn't even get that. Okay, no, please don't kill. Our special defense is low. Okay, I think that's an orange berry. So Arbok is probably gonna use Sledge Bomb again. We could try to go Destiny and then, but we're gonna start getting really low here. Our special defense is absolutely stacked. Um, we probably just don't need to risk that. We probably don't even have to risk it. So with that being said, let's do, let's do Gyarados and hope that we don't get poisoned by the Sludge Bomb. No poison, please. And no critical would be really nice as well. we'll just eat it. Okay, really good stuff there. Just gonna go ahead and get the earthquake and take out the Arbok before any poison stuff starts happening. Okay, 
Really good. I love it. We are just working around the that first fight with the Hypno and just seeing what we can do here. So there is her ace, the ultimate Gengar here. So unfortunately, this is a terrible matchup since Earthquake doesn't hit because of Levitate. Secret Power doesn't hit because um, Gengar's a ghost. We have Surf, but that is Gyarados's weakest move uh, because it's special. But since we're here, I'm going to see if we can get any damage down. And of course, the 60% Hypnosis lands right on target. Uh, okay. Potentially going to use Dream Eater here. And that could open up a swap. Um, so... Uh, right, that defense is really low, so uh, Raichu's a tough one to swap into. This might be the Vaporeon play. Very tanky, very good, and we have the rest uh, berry play if need be. Okay, hopefully Gengar goes for Dream Eater and we get another free swap. Nightmare, that's also, yes. So there you go, that's exactly what, along the lines of what I was thinking with the Dream Eater. So we get two free swaps by playing around the Gengar, really good stuff there. And now this is the surf that you want. The 60% Hypnosis misses. Uh, Vaporeon special attack much higher than Gyarados. A lot of damage there. And it's just going to be a nice two shot if we can get this next surf, off, next surf off. And the Hypnosis connects. But I actually have the berry for Edward's rest when we use that for the homemade full restore combo. So, oh my gosh, look at that preparation right there. Absolutely. The hypnosis connects just for Vaporeon to be like, uh, thank you. <laughs> Very good stuff. And let's do another surf. Might one shot. Uh, if it crits, definitely one shot. Haunter is a lot less tanky than Gengar. So hypno getting absolutely bamboozled out the gate, but then the rest of the team coming in insanely clutch, working around the obstacles. I really enjoyed that fight, and I am super excited to pay Lance a visit right here, right now. As always, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for stopping in, and I will see you again real soon. Peace.